Hey, this is M from Alpha Male Secrets, coming to you live from Hollywood, California. And in this new secret training video, you're about to learn why if you want to become a real alpha male these days, the first thing you must, must do is you must, must stop watching movies and television shows that are being produced by Hollywood these days. Why? because nearly every movie and every television show being produced by Hollywood these days are no longer being produced to entertain you, but to indoctrinate you, taking you from alpha male right back down to beta male. And if you don't believe me, all you have to do is turn on your television. You can see for yourself, this is no longer a conspiracy theory. This is no longer a false alarm. Nearly every movie and every television show that you watch these days is in fact injected with some form of anti-male, emasculated, feminist view aimed not at entertaining you, but indoctrinating you. Indoctrinating you into adopting feminist ideas and leftist views into your life. It's no secret that college campuses and universities these days are nothing more than indoctrination chambers where radical feminists can promote false rape culture, false rape statistics, and false domestic abuse statistics under the guise of so-called education. And with college attendance on the decline these days and less and less men actually attending college, feminists have found a new way to reach you and that is through movies and television shows, blatantly injecting feminist ideas and leftist views into practically every movie and every TV show that comes out these days. Just one example of this is the most recent Mad Max movie, which is supposed to be a male targeted action flick. This movie was supposed to be for guys, this movie was supposed to be an adrenaline pumping, male targeted action movie for men. Yet, it was heavily injected with a ton of feminist propaganda. The director of the movie, George Miller, even admitted that he consulted with the writer of the Vagina Monologues, a known feminist, while he was writing the script. That's like the director of Sex in the City consulting with like Rambo or the Terminator for script ideas. The two just don't mix, right? Unless of course you have an agenda, unless you have an ulterior motive, like indoctrinating male viewers who naively sit there and watch your movie. Same thing with the current James Bond, Daniel Craig. As you know, James Bond, 007, the world's most famous spy, is predominantly a male targeted action hero, one that most alpha males, real alpha males, identify with and even look up to and mirror themselves after. And one of the most successful actors to ever play James Bond in recent history was Daniel Craig, who did a phenomenal job in his first Bond film, Casino Royale. And if you're a guy, chances are you've seen this movie and Casino Royale was a movie that literally skyrocketed Daniel Craig's male fan base into the stratosphere. And his fan base was made up mostly of guys who wanted to be just like him, guys who wanted to be like their hero, James Bond, AKA Daniel Craig. Well, by Daniel Craig's third Bond film, feminists could see the writing on the wall they noticed the massive male following that Daniel Craig had attracted through playing James Bond. So they didn't waste any time in taking your favorite male action hero, James Bond, 007, and putting him in a dress, even putting a wig on him, dressing him up like a woman so that James Bond himself could teach you about why men are bad and women are good so that James Bond himself could teach you about how the wage gap between men and women still exists, how the lack of equality for women still exists. All lies, by the way. All made up from false statistics from feminists themselves. All the while, 
using his character, James Bond, which millions of guys look up to and inspire to be like, using his fictional character of James Bond to promote feminist propaganda and leftist ideas. That would be like if the men's rights groups hired Angelina Jolie to tell women how to be better housewives and better girlfriends, which may not be a bad idea. Nonetheless, if you are a guy who wants to rise above all the unconscious beta males out there, if you are a guy who wants to become a real alpha male in today's anti-male, emasculated world, the first thing you must do is you must, must stop watching all of the recent movies and all of the recent television shows that are coming out of Hollywood these days. If you are a straight male like myself, who likes hot women, who likes fast cars, who likes being masculine, I've got news for you. Hollywood hates your guts. So why in the world would you keep lining up to pay for their movies? Especially when practically every movie that comes out of Hollywood these days, since the year 2000, has been injected with heavy doses of feminism. That's like frequenting a sandwich shop that spits in your food whenever you're not looking. They just package it all nice and neat so that you don't notice and you keep coming back for more so they can keep charging you. And Hollywood is no different. If you are a straight male today who likes hot women, likes fast cars, and likes being masculine, guess what? Nearly every movie and every TV show Hollywood makes for you these days, whether it's a comedy, whether it's an action film, or whether it's a drama, has been spat in with heavy doses of feminism and leftist ideas all aimed at destroying the family and emasculating men. They just don't want you to know about it. That's why they do everything subconsciously, so it enters your mind under the radar while you're not looking while you're sitting in that darkened theater in a catonic state, asleep. While you're sitting in those comfortable, relaxing seats with your head back and your feet up while your brain is not awake, where they can inject your mind with feminist ideas and leftist views while you're not looking, showing you your favorite characters acting out in ways that they want you to start acting out in real life. And feminism is not only being injected into movies and TV shows these days, but it's also being injected into commercials, advertisements, products. And one of the biggest traits for becoming a real alpha male these days that I always, always teach my students is to always, always watch your ass out there. Meaning don't live your life asleep. Don't allow your mind to be put to sleep by consumer culture, movies, music, TV shows, fashion trends. Don't live your life in that subconscious, catonic state that Hollywood uses to brainwash you, to keep you powerless, to keep you under their control, to keep you a beta male. The last thing Hollywood wants is more alpha males out there, real alpha males running around gaining power and posing a threat to their utopian vision of how they want the world to be. By the way, when it comes to feminism or political correctness or fat acceptance or any of those other ridiculous leftist ideas, what I always preach to my own students is if it's such a great idea, then why do we need to force it down people's throats? Why do we need to force people to accept it? And why do we need to humiliate people and ridicule people if they don't accept it? Why do we need to constantly brainwash people and even trick people into accepting it? The truth is, if it was such a great idea, we wouldn't have to do any of this. We wouldn't have to keep forcing it down people's throats. We wouldn't have to keep brainwashing people and tricking people into accepting it. They would just accept it. Why? Because it's a great idea. No brainwashing and no force needed. But when you have something that isn't a great idea 
and could possibly harm society, harm families, and even harm children, that's when our natural born instincts as humans kicks in and we go, hey, wait a minute. I don't think this is such a great idea but part of indoctrinating people into going against their own better judgment is to desensitize them to it. Because once someone is desensitized to something, even the most ludicrous, insane ideas can sound normal to them. And once you've desensitized them to something, you can get them to go along with pretty much anything you want, no matter how insane and no matter how corrupt your ideas may sound. And the Hollywood elite are masters at this. They know that as a society, humans are very, very basic creatures. They know that all they have to do is desensitize us to something, anything, and eventually we will go along with it. The Hollywood elite knows that all they need to do is keep jamming it down our throats keep showing us these things in their movies and in their TV shows, and usually within one generation, they can change the opinion of an entire society. And it's really, really scary what you can persuade people to go along with once you've desensitized them to something. Movies and TV shows these days have become masters at desensitizing you to things that even just 10 years ago would have sounded ridiculous, disgusting, even repulsive, but now are seen as completely normal. Even though on the surface, if you were to think logically, you would go, wait a minute, this sounds insane. Why am I blindly accepting this as normal? But again, part of becoming a real alpha male is being able to spot deception being able to spot when you are being manipulated, when you are being desensitized for the purpose of social conditioning. And why do we watch movies and television in the first place? We watch movies and television to relax, to chill, to kick back, right? Not to be indoctrinated, not to have to sit there and watch your ass every five seconds for every little thing that Hollywood is trying to desensitize you to. It's the same thing with eating out or going to your favorite restaurant. Why do you go out to eat? You go out to eat because you want to relax, you want to chill, you want to kick back. You don't want to have to sit there and be forced to watch your ass every five seconds in case they spit in your food. Otherwise, why even go, right? Most of this evil, by the way, is only coming from a small handful of groups, feminists, leftists, and the politically correct. That's it, just those three. And they all use the same medium, which is movies and television, to gain access to your brain. They take your favorite actors, they take your favorite characters, your childhood heroes, people you grew up watching, people you grew up admiring, and they put them in sick and twisted scenarios, often sexual scenarios, scenarios that you've never seen them in before. Why? To desensitize you to it. And one thing that Hollywood loves to do, one thing that Hollywood is notorious for doing, is dressing up men like women and women like men. Why? Again, to desensitize you to it, so that your subconscious slowly begins to accept it as normal. So in order to protect yourself out there, in order to become a real alpha male in today's crazy, insane world, the first thing you must do is you must cut off Hollywood's access to your subconscious, to your brain. And the way that you do that is by turning off your TV and no longer paying for their movies, period. Now, if you like to watch movies like I do, there are other options. You can whip out your old DVD collection. You can dust off all those old movies you have that were made prior to the year 2000. Your safest bet are movies that were made from the 1940s 
to roughly about the mid-1990s, before feminism really started making its way onto the big screen. And the earlier the movie was made, the less feminist ideas and leftist views it's going to contain, the less political correctness it's going to contain. And the earlier the movie was made, the more you'll see women acting like women and men acting like men. So it's time to stop watching all of these quote unquote new movies with wussy beta male actors like Jonas Hill and instead start watching movies with guys like James Dean, Humphrey Bogart, Cary Grant. Watch classics like Casablanca, Rebel Without a Cause, or any movie from the 80s even with Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, actors who actually lift weights. I sometimes joke with students who are looking for a real testosterone pumping action movie to just watch Commando three times in a row, front to back, and you'll be fine. Just any movie made prior to the year 2000, before the turn of the century. Whatever you do, you want to stop paying for all of these quote unquote new movies being made today with all of the fancy packaging and feminist propaganda injected into it. Save your money and instead invest in a really good classic DVD collection. Get on eBay and get yourself a huge collection of old movies produced before the year 2000. There really is no reason to keep paying for all of the feminist injected crap that is coming out of Hollywood these days. There are a ton of really, really good, really excellent movies out there that were made prior to the year 2000 that I guarantee are a thousand times better than anything you'll see on the big screen today. You may have to dig a little to find those hidden gems, those hidden treasures, but I guarantee it will be worth it. Now, some of my own personal favorite movies, besides the ones I mentioned, I really like Point Break, 1991. I can watch that over and over. I really like Heat, 1995 with Robert De Niro. Black Rain, 1989 with Michael Douglas. Vanishing Point, 1971. Uh, I also liked Assassins with Sylvester Stallone, Bloodsport, Kickboxer, Time Cop. Always been a fan of Van Damme movies. In any case, you get the point. There are an endless amount of really well-made guy action flicks out there produced prior to the year 2000 where you would never need to pay for another new movie ever again. Much less would you want to especially with all of the crappy reboots and garbage remakes coming out of Hollywood these days. All of which, by the way, have all been injected with heavy doses of feminism, political correctness, and leftist views. So that's all I have to say for now. Watch your ass out there. And until next time, this is M from The 44 Secrets. And if you enjoyed what you just learned in this new secret training video, then don't forget to add yourself to my priority waiting list for my full training course, The 44 Secrets to Becoming a Real Alpha Male, where you can learn my personal secrets for becoming a real alpha male in today's anti-male emasculated world. All you need to do is click the link above, pop in your name and email, and you're all set. It takes two seconds. So do that right now, and I'll see you in my next training video.